Hey everybody, welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming channel where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites and uh, hopefully add some awesome games to your backlog that uh, maybe you weren't aware of. Uh, you know, maybe it's a game that you've had out there on the wish list for a while and uh, you see somebody play it and you go, damn it, it's time to jump into that game. If you like the roguelikes and the roguelites, Starting you're in the right space. Uh, that's what we play here. I love them. The community loves them. Thanks for being here with us. Uh, speaking of great roguelite games, we are back today with some Anvil Vault Breakers. I have been loving this game. Uh, man, oh man. Where to even begin? Uh, Action-packed, explosions, lots of cool upgrades. Yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna go with it. Might as well. It's got a buff on it. Might as well, right? Uh, figured we'd get a quick warm up in with our good friend Uzi, the uh, glass cannon. Let's see what we can do here. I don't really use the umbrella a whole lot. On use, gang, 50% increased weapon power for 10 seconds. Immunity to all status effects. 200% increased defense. Sold. Sounds great to me. Uh, yeah, so I figured we'd get a quick run in with Uzi to get warmed up, uh, drink some coffee here. I've got, uh, got a really nice house blend from Dark Matter. Uh, it's a roaster. I believe they're out of Chicago. Um, it is wonderful. So, you know, good way to get the day started with some action roguelite. Blast and aliens with bullets. We'll see if we can put a uh, good run together. I think we'll do okay here with Uzi. Um, it's when we head out to uh, Symphonia that, you know, just you don't really know what's going to happen. We, we do the best we can. doesn't always pan out. All right, let's see here. One additional dash and teleport use, 30% max guard duration increase. Uh, you know, sure. Why not? Why not? So the, uh, the, the smaller breakers, the more agile breakers, have, uh, have a dash capability. The larger breakers have that, that guard. Um, larger being uh, Guillotine and uh, Mountain, who I'm looking forward to opening up next as soon as I get the required crons, of course. All right. I do like that freeze ability. I kind of forgot about it. Uh, let's see. Have we cleared it out? I think we've cleared it out. So, 25% attack power increase when HP is 80% or higher. That sounds okay. Let's do that. All right. Yeah, so the guard is more of a shield. Um, and, uh, a trickster reached out in the comments the other day. Um, in relation to... Uh, guillotine and, and mountain and some of the bigger guys uh, commenting on, on the freebies that I always talk about. You know, you gotta you gotta get your freebie barrels. Don't disregard them. And uh, uh, Trickster said, "Hey, you know what? Get those get those slaps to go even faster. Uh, you can you can skip the uh, part of the animation um, if you uh, if you start the axe swing." got the axe, uh, you can go ahead and use the guard and it'll skip part of the animation and uh, you'll get your slap in that much faster. Okay. Or you could just be like uh, German Kitty Paws who also commented and said, hey, you know what? You want to get those barrels faster? Just slam a power down on them. You're not wrong. Definitely not wrong. I like it. Love when people comment, talk a little bit about uh, the current builds they're playing. Ooh, I like the Indra. Really, really like the Indra. Okay, so we're gonna go with that. 15% increase to HP, defense, and attack power when 120 or less coins are in possession. That might be good. Um, let's do that. So we've just gotta, we gotta make sure that we're gonna remain a big spender. Uh, let's see, is there anywhere else I can 
drop some coins at. Let's take a look here. Um, let's go with the HP increase. And then we're gonna have to drop some more coins in the uh, the next area, which shouldn't be a problem. I I like spending the coins. Starting planet All exploration. Right. Yeah, I was just saying how uh, I, I really like how everybody shows up in the comments sections and um, offers various advice. Let's see, freeze effects last twice as long and increase skill power by 50% for 10 seconds. Let's do that. That sounds okay. Um, increase attack power by 2 when taking damage. That could be really good. Increase critical hit chance by 10% for 15 seconds. So wait. Uh, let's see. Increase attack bar by two, or increase critical hit chance. I'd rather crit more often. All right. Yeah, you know, uh, <clears throat> Tony Peterson, or, or maybe it's Peterson. Uh, he was he was saying, you know, I, I don't always know what kind of powers or relics that uh, I should be stacking on the various uh, characters. Um, and, and Tony, I hope that you know when you come and watch these videos, uh, you're able to take a look at the comments and see some, some good options from uh, the people that are writing in about you know the, the various builds that they've had success with. I love it, and I've gotten plenty of ideas. Um, sometimes, though, my challenge is that I just don't have the uh, relics replicated yet that people are going in with. You know, like Trickster was saying, for instance, when um, they play Guillotine or Mountain, Starting uh, exploration. you go in with that 100% additional HP relic, and then you can really just focus on increasing your power and uh, various offensive options because, you know, from a uh, durability standpoint, you're already going in as a, a very beefy boy, you know. So, yeah, some, some things to consider if you've got the relics, but uh, really appreciate all of you showing up. Um, in other news, I've been uh, really enjoying the Quest 2, uh, the Oculus Quest 2 headset. Um, man, oh man. I, just, I, I feel like I've seen some amazing things on it. Uh, so I, I, I picked up a, a game called Vader Immortal that was on sale. Um, I got it for $15 US. And, uh, you know, it was it was three separate episodes that all had, you know, kind of different experiences along the way. Um, so you had some battle experiences, you had some exploration experiences. Uh, if you like the Star Wars universe, this is absolutely something you're going to want to check out. Um, oh, let's do this, because we've got more often uh, uh, crits happening. More often crits happening. Uh, let's say more plentiful crits uh, are, are available to us via the relics. Man, I need more coffee. Um, okay, let's, uh, let's go ahead and warp here. So yeah, I, uh, I ended up finishing the Vader Immortal game, and uh, my goodness, I mean, I don't want to give anything away, but again, if, if you enjoy that universe, you will like this. Um, there are some really awesome action-packed moments where detected. you're able to use both a lightsaber and force powers. Uh, so I, I recommend it strongly. Okay. Just like I recommend playing as Uzi, she's awesome. 20% increase the defense and attack power. Eh. Oh, this is a good one. I like the quick shield griefs. Okay. So we're going to pop a shield anytime we dash now, which is wonderful. Got some alien nests happening here. Yeah, so I wanted to finish Vader Immortal before I went and picked up another game. Um, 
like I kind of like made that deal with myself, you know. And uh, right, now we're below 120, so we'll get we'll get an extra boost. Um, so I went and got uh, a game called In Death Unchained, and you know, according to a reviewer from Forbes, this was supposed to be one of the best archery games available. So that really got my attention. Um, you know what else really got my attention is that In Death Unchained is a roguelike. Yes, roguelikes are on the quest, which is tremendous. And VR headsets in general, I should say. Um, so, now you gotta remember, I, I haven't had a ton of experience with VR. So I'm still in that, oh my god, this is the craziest thing I've ever seen. When I turn this on, I, I just, I started smiling immediately. You know, just, just immediately. It was the coolest thing I ever saw. Um, the way they make you feel like you are holding a bow in your hands is incredible. And uh, I will admit that I am out of shape. My arms started to get sore from, uh, you know, shooting bows at, at zombies and other beasts along the way. Uh, but this, it, it's like a, uh, how would I describe it? You know, it's got the environment uh, that like a Dark Souls would. You know, kind of that, that dark, uh, macabre, you know, setting. Um, really, really nice. So you're, you're walking around these almost cathedrals in the sky. And, uh, you know, you're taking shots at um, beasts and... Uh, you know, guys that are in full armor where you have to shoot them in the head. They're coming up on you, you know. Um, there's kind of like, uh, I don't know, they look like um, they look like cloaked sorcerers almost. Uh, almost like the witch in Noida, if, if you're familiar. Um, and so, you know, you've got you've to shoot them, but then they've got, uh, they've got bow and arrow as well. So then you've got to hold up your shield. You know, to block these arrows, and uh, I don't know. I it's just it's amazing to me what they're able to do with this stuff. You know, and I Sorry I've got a I've got a very low tolerance for uh, you know games that cause motion sickness, and um, happy to report that this game is. Let's reduce that cooldown. This game is a very comfortable game to play. Um, you know, in terms of, of that kind of stuff. So, I uh, I had a ball with it. I look forward to uh, diving in further. And um, I am going to uh, take a look and see what kind of quality I can get from the recordings. And, and if it makes sense to do it, I'll start uh, putting some VR games on the channel so that people can check them out and, uh, you know, can help people decide if this is something I want to uh, pick up for myself. You know, do I think I can get into a Quest headset? Is this the type of game for me? You know, all that kind of stuff. Helps people decide, uh, you know, how to spend their money and their time with, with some of these games. I would assume that all of you are playing... Uh, some anvil vault breakers by now. I think this game's getting some good traction out there. I'm happy to see it. You know, I, I think the uh, support from the developer is, is definitely there. Sounds like lately they've been having some trouble with uh, their online play. Now, I, I really haven't used that at all. Uh, but I will say that they're actively working through it. There's a lot of uh, communication out on Twitter about, you know, them working towards fixing it and such. Which is great to see. All right, come on, Uzi. Let's take these last guys out. All right, they are gone. We are rich with cash right now. Um, let's increase the attack speed like to get something that would uh, give me some ammo back to 90% max HP 5% skill cooldown decrease awesome We've gotta spend it all oh nice time shield love it 
additional damage to bosses. Love that. Okay. Let's uh, blast off. Take a sip of coffee. And Wayne, I'm going to work on that sponsorship. If you're out there, man. Wayne Mundell chiming in saying that uh, the GOAT needs a relationship with a roaster so that I can offer you all uh, coffee coupon codes somewhere. Right? We talk about it enough. If you've seen my uh, daily Spelunky series, you know I do a fair bit of uh, coffee talk. I have to admit, I, I love it. So we'll see. We'll see about that. I think that'd be fun. Okay. Speaking of Spelunky, um, if you haven't heard, Spelunky 2 is coming to Game Pass. I am so excited for more people to be able to enjoy that game. Alright, we do not want to get hit by these quills. Alright. Wow. Okay, so the yellow ones will pull us all the way in. So I say we get back here. If you get hit by the yellow, it's uh, usually curtains in my experience. But maybe that's not true because we took some, uh, some life buffs along the way. Maybe that wouldn't happen. We gotta try to beat the armor before that uh, red bar goes all the way up. That was a good time to use that. You know, to everybody that had to go back to work this week, I, I hope that things are, you know, starting off slow, right? And that we're not going back to, you know, immediate uh, firefighting, you know, grab your helmet. So glad you're back. Now let's get to it. You know, I, I, I hope things have started out slow. You know, getting up early the other day was, uh, well, it wasn't, wasn't my favorite thing to do. Uh, I, I talked with one co-worker and you know, she was saying, oh yeah, you know, I'm, I'm glad to be back. You know, it's, it's really great. And I'm thinking, well, you know, I kind of liked sleeping in and playing video games at 1 p.m. if I wanted to and, you know, all that stuff that it's a little bit more difficult when you're having to work. Ooh, a little bit of knockback there. A little bit more of knockback. Okay, we're going to hopefully not get hit by this. Oh, look at that. All right. They didn't let us freeze them for whatever reason. Oh, wow. Okay, let's uh, avoid the dark yellows. Oh, jeez. But he's right pissed off that that bar is all the way up. Oh, there it is. All right. That was a good warm up. That was a real good warm up. All right. So I think we're gonna do a little bit of uh, Beauty and the Beast here. If, if uh, Uzi is our beauty, we're gonna go guillotine for our beast, I think. It's only right. Oh, there, hey, you know what? You know what that means? We just opened up the mountain. I think we've got a new beast. Oh, one additional dash and teleport use, 30% max guard duration increase. That is interesting. Okay, you know what? Let's uh, let's get us a mountain here. Are you ready for battle? 
I am. Let's open up a mountain. I'm going to be really excited when we get one more uh, point. Okay, let's, uh, let's open him up. Yep, let's do it. Mountain, okay. So with mountain, what do we want to do here? Um, increase crit hit chance, 20% attack power. Uh, I don't know that attack speed is going to make sense for him. Why don't we start with that? Yeah, let's go in with this. And uh, we'll play through Journey. Oop, I always do that. Breaker system. Okay. Well, where are you, buddy? Oh, it's just down him. Okay. Connecting to Breaker system. All right, we got us a mountain. It's my first time playing as mountain. Okay. And as. Uh, as folks have pointed out, you know, we can skip the animation Initiating for some faster slaps. Uh, let's act like we're doing another warm-up. I like to start out with uh, Churney to get that additional slot opened up. But I'm excited to uh, see what Mountain can do. Starting planet exploration. Okay. Uh... Looking forward to this. Boy, everybody's right. That is the way to go. In terms of uh, being able to stop that animation. Wow. Holy moly. Okay, let's see what kind of powers we're working with here. Wow. Okay. That's, uh, that's raw power, man. Like I was saying, Beauty and the Beast for sure. I think that's uh that's a fair comment to make, right? Check me on it. All right. Uh let's get our freebie here. Although I don't know how good I'm going to be at choosing this uh given that this is the first time. All right, reduces cooldown by 30%, gain shield equivalent to 10% of max HP for 15 seconds on use. Holy moly. Okay. So the jump shock, that's on Q. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna find that, find out how good that is in a second here. I think we already know. Oh, he just keeps going. That's beautiful. Wow, that took no time. All right, where's the other nest? There it is. My goodness, uh, boy, he's really got some power to him on the attack. Um, <clears throat> I thought we came in with this. Did it not take? That's weird. Oh, got it. It's max level. Wake up, goat. 15% additional damage to bosses or increased damage the closer you... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, we're, we're made for that. Okay. Yeah, we're starting with 53,000 health. That's pretty awesome as well. All right, let's, uh, let's check out some more of these powers here. I haven't used this one yet. See, I say that and everybody's already dead. <laughs> this is a good problem to have. Um, recover 20% of HP at the beginning of each stage. I guess, I guess we'll go with that. What could go wrong? Yeah, it does look faster. Okay. Let's uh, warp and then we'll, we'll try that other power here. Wow. Okay. All right, 30% max HP. We'll go with that. All right, where are these guys? We can activate the battle worker in the meantime. That would be attacked. Oh, there they are. Holy 
That's outstanding. Okay. So it seems like, you know, most of his moves are uh, slam the hell out of everything oriented, which, uh, you know, I don't mind at all. It sounds uh, quite good to me. I love that, that he keeps, he just keeps going. Okay. All right. All right, Mountain. Let's see what we got here. 5% attack power increase at the start of every stage. I uh, I wouldn't mind bringing in that. I usually, because uh, I've got that replicated, I usually bring that one in myself. Okay. Quick sip of coffee. All right. Bring it on. Where is it? I'm, I'm ready. Yeah, I mean, if you're if you're just looking for raw power and durability coming in the door, um, this is a hell of a weapon. This hammer, and uh, and, and he's ready to use it. Frequently, he's got a really nice wind-up. Okay. All right. Um, let's uh, spend some cash here, and let's see what we can do. Increase crit hit chance by 20% when HP is 30% or lower. I, man, I don't, I don't see that happening frequently. Uh, so I think we're gonna hold on to the cash. See who we can grab in the next area. Starting planet exploration. I don't know that I'll be uh, able to match some of the the DPSs that you all write in with. Let's see, that might be nice. Meteor smash and recoil stun cooldown reset on successful counterattack. Let's go with the uh, increased skill radius. Let's see what's in the shop, too. 30% uh, skill power increase. That might be nice. Um, power gauntlets, missile launcher. This is what we've got right now. Increased max rounds by... Oh. Giant hammer made out of meteorite. Slow but powerful. Releasing attack input after the first or second attack. I don't know why... That would increase max rounds on a mallet. I, I didn't think that used ammo. Maybe it doesn't. Um, so we'll do the power chip for now. I don't know that we need to do much else, but um, I'd love to get some of these higher DPSs. Uh, you know, Tyler Poole was saying uh, that, that Tyler was able to get 100,000 DPS with lightning the other day. Um, I, I haven't I haven't gotten the DPS up that high yet, but uh, I'm, I'm I'm still trying. Wow. Nice. Ooh, like that. I mean, he's going down fast, and my, my health bar has been pretty full most of the time here. All right, we're going to hold down on the guard while that's going on, at least. Nice. Oh, look who's here. This came to play, huh? Okay. 
Oh, that worked out real well with the, uh, the leap back. Okay. We're about to have a victory. Outstanding. Now, let's see, uh, what we can't grab here in terms of upgrades. Okay, increased damage by up to 25% the closer you are to the target. Yes, 50% attack power increase when HP is 30% or lower. That's that's going to be rare that that happens. Um, let's see. Don't need the ammo recovery. 40% crit damage increase. Yep. I'm just going with, uh, with offensive at this point. That's what we're going to focus on. Get the damage up, get the crits up, get the power up. And, uh, you know, in theory, planet exploration. get that DPS way up, too. Okay. All right, looks like we've got a cooldown reduction option. Increases weapon power by 20% for 15 seconds when there's a recovery guard. Um... 100% increased damage to electrified targets. That sounds great. Let's go with that. This is hammer does do shock damage, it turns out. Okay. Oh, I got poisoned, I think. That's all right. What is this? Battle axe. Increase max rounds. Interesting. I mean, unless I'm totally biffing on something, um, I, I don't think these axes use ammo. That's, that's a little bit of a mismatch. Ooh, that's fantastic. Okay. Increased duration of status effects, 25% attack power increase when HP is 80% or higher. Yes, that we that we will do. So that guy got shocked. Ooh, 47,000 on that one. Great. Oh, all right. Let's take these guys out first. Okay. Increase max rounds. No. Perfectly timed. No. Generate a shield. Nah, well, I wouldn't mind that one for a replication. So we're going to grab it more for the replication opportunity than, than the fact that we need it. We, we don't really need it. I mean, I'll take it. Uh... But that's the only one I'm going to grab that's outside of, um, you know, a pure offensive play. Strong, ominous force. Oh. That's tremendous. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I think that went pretty well. Oh, we've got an orange. The Jumper Hammer. Powerful hammer equipped with an explosive module attacking the same targets multiple times sets them on fire. 30% weapon power increase, 50% status effect duration increase, increased critical hit chance by 15%. 
attack speed by 15%. Let's see what this thing looks like. Yeah, we're going to go with that. That, uh, that looks pretty good. Okay. Uh, we've got extra cash here. Increased critical hit chance by 10% for 15 seconds when taking damage. Yep. Uh, I wouldn't mind that, but I'd really rather just focus on offensive. I think we're moving at a, at a fine clip at this point. Oh, boy. Okay. We gotta watch our health a little bit here. Now, it is gonna come back slowly because of the uh, sweet pumpkin candy. But we still want to be cognizant. Generates a shield equivalent when a skill is used. 1% uh, chance to inflict 2,000% of attack power as additional damage when attacking. Yeah. Let's let's get the explosion scope. Okay. Saw 14,000 in there. Another 14er. All right, back at full health. That's nice. There's an 18,000. Thirty-nine thousand. All right, we're we're getting up there. Ooh, look at that health. What happened? I, think I took some damage along the way. All right. Okay. Uh, let's see. Increase attack power when shield is active. That'd be good. 15% additional to bosses, that would be good as well. Uh, let's see if there's anything else down here we can't grab. All right, I guess that's gonna do it. Well, let's uh, warp on, keep rolling here. Starting planet exploration. Okay, uh, well, let's, let's grab a quick relic if we can. Crit hit chance by 25% for 5 seconds if no damage is taken. Um, you know, why not? Why not, right? Let's get our freebie here. Reduces cooldown by 30%. Each target hits grants 10% defense power for 15 seconds. Recovery guard. Okay, let's uh, reduce the cooldown on that. And we'll start uh, rocking the house here. Let's activate this cannon real quick. Okay. We'll just activate all these guns and then we'll start getting in there. Beating some ass. You know, I, here's what I'm going to say. If you're coming back from a long work day, you know, and you're looking to get in there. Oh, my goodness. Are you serious? Oh, no. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Let me finish that thought, though. If you're looking to get in there and, and beat some ass, uh, Mountain is going to be a good choice. Um, keep an eye on your health bar, you know, obviously. Uh, I didn't do a great job of that. And maybe I should have taken some of the more uh, defensive options along the way. Um, let's see here. You know, I got I got time for one more. Do you have time for one more? Because I've got time for one more. Let's jump in there one more time. Let's see if we can get a win in uh, Launch Journey Bill. Galaxy. That'd be good. Who is our Accessing bonus character system. today? Okay. 
Let's guillotine. I'm gonna play some more with uh, mountains Mission here. Exploration system. Let's get into journey. Now let's see if we can uh, find a win. That'd be good. Starting planet I feel like exploration. those guys just kind of uh, surrounded me. Maybe this time around, we'll get that max HP up a little bit more. Maybe I wasn't as uh, mountainous as I thought I was initially. Well, the guys, uh, you know, as you go on in the galaxies, the guys do take, uh, you know, they'll deliver more damage to you. Um, everything gets a little bit more challenging. Additional 200% damage at center, two additional falling hammer attacks. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Maybe what we'll do this run is focus on health. Um... Yeah, see, I don't know why we would do that. Max rounds. That's, that's throwing me off. We'll focus on health and, uh, and, and power. You know, so making those powers uh, that much more powerful. Get the DPS up that way. You also kind of have to see how the run goes. You know, it's going to be different every time. You don't know what they're going to throw at you as far as uh, potential relics to grab. So we'll see. Uh, skill power increase. Let's let's start with that. Attack speed. Eh. I guess we could do that. I mean, it appears that you do attack faster, even with the melee weapon. But check me on that, everybody. If I'm uh, wasting money here on this attack speed, let me know. It, it seemed to uh, to make a difference. You would think they wouldn't make it available, but then again, um, I guess you you can end up with uh, melee weapons in your run. So of course they would. Uh, let's see, invincible for 15 seconds when HP is 30% or lower. Nah, okay. Let's uh, finish this area up. Okay. All right. We will activate the Annihilator device momentarily. 10% um, increase to attack power and defense for every one second not moving. I move a lot. So we're going to ignore some defense. Wow. Okay. Big fan of that. That's got the additional hammer drop now. Two additional hammers. Beautiful. All right. I guess we're coming down here. Is there anything else we want to grab? No. All right, recover 20% of HP. No, I guess we could do that. 25% attack power increase for 15 seconds. I'm perfectly timed dodge. Eh. This only happens so often. Of course, as I'm saying, eh, a second later, I, I can pull one off. Love that. That hammer strike is, uh, man, it's visceral. Just feel it connecting with those creatures' faces. Um, well, let's see what's in here. 20%. Okay, we already looked at this one. All right. Making our way through here. Too slow. Suck it. 
That's fantastic. Pop this open. One additional dash. I think I'm leaning towards this. Yeah. Let's do that. So do we have another option over here. No. Just out of reach. Okay. That's all right. Planet exploration. All right, let's grab our freebie here. Let's see if there's anything in the uh, shop over there that we want. Additional 200% damage at the center. That might be nice. Skill power increased by 50%. Let's see, which is the one that... Uh... Okay, got it. Let's go with this. Yeah, let's see what's in here. 20% increase to defense and attack power when 20 or more relics are in possession. An increased critical hit chance by 20% when HP is 30% or lower. I don't know. I... Oh, I do like the Venom Caster. Ah, uh, man. I... We're going to have to get that. <laughs> Increase critical hit chance by 15% for 5 seconds when remaining ammo is above 70%. Yes. Alright. You know, we've still got all the slam moves. Even though we don't have the uh, big mallet anymore. Yeah, you love seeing that. Good deal. You know, I think one of my downfalls last time was that I wasn't using the guard enough. And I'm so used to having a dash because I don't play as the bigger guys as often. And I think I didn't, uh, didn't do that enough. That counter attack is tremendous. Okay. Well, he went down nice and fast. Um, let's spend some of this dinero. Let's see, where's our cube here? Oh, there it is. Walked right past it. All right, 15% additional damage to bosses or 60% skill power increase. I'm thinking the skill power increase. All right. Starting I think we'll probably do better in this area if this is a defense area. We'll probably do a little bit better with the uh, the Venom Caster this time. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Grab our freebie real quick here. Uh, let's increase the skill radius. It sounds good. Okay. Warning. Enemies are becoming stronger. Yeah, that's fantastic. See, these are the guys that I got in trouble with last time. Okay. Cryocaster, increase HP recovery by 50%, 15% ranged damage reduction, 30% weapon power increase. I mean that sounds that sounds really good. 
and it'll freeze the enemies as an added bonus. Okay. Like a good Venom Caster, like a good Cryo Caster, like a good Flamethrower. I like them all. There you go. Take that, boys. All right, 15% uh, incoming close range. Let's uh, let's ignore some defense and let's boost our defense. How about that? Guys, you better stay back. Not messing around. All right. All right, if we can get through at some point, is get out of the way, blocking the door. All right, uh, weapon power increase. That's what it's gonna be. And we'll keep, uh, well, maybe we'll, we'll head this way instead, apparently. Oh, it's this, it's big boy. All right. Uh, he, he wanted to charge at me. All right, let's, uh, let's try not to overheat. That wouldn't be the greatest thing to ever happen. 40% uh, crit damage increase, that sounds good. 15% attack power increase when shield is active. Uh, I don't know if they count this. Maybe they do. Not sure. Okay. Morning. So we're gonna keep ripping and running here. Beware, machine gods Oh, the old machine gods! I got something for you. Oh man! A couple of alien nests. That's fine. Got something for you too. Everybody's invited to the party. Okay, additional damage to bosses. Uh, we're gonna do that one. And uh, I think that's all we can get for now. Okay. Let's let's grab a warp here. Looks like we'll have uh, an area defense mission. Starting planet exploration. And then the final boss. I think this one's going to go differently this time. All right. Uh, electrifies impact location for 15 seconds and increases weapon power by 100%. Wow. Hard to say no to that. Uh, let's grab a quick relic here. Up. Oh. All right. Looks like something triggered him. Okay, we gotta get in there and do some slamming. Wow. Love seeing that. Okay, let's activate this gun. Just slam these guys out of here real quick. Go back to this. Clear them out of here. All right, we're about 
about halfway there. Love that one. Man. Alright, we don't want to overheat. Big guy's down. Health is doing fine. There it is. Almost. What do we got? Six more? Let's just go right on up here. Bring it to him. Okay. Now, 700 cash. Big spender. About to be. Um, I don't know. That's all damage reduction stuff. Ignore 60% of enemies' defense, 30% skill power increase. They start to get good as you uh, get deeper into the upgrade path. Increase attack speed. We'll definitely do that now. Oh, look at this. 90% weapon power increase, 50% recovery amount increase. Wow. Awesome. What else do we got? Increase HP recovery by 50%. That, yeah, that could be good. Oh, look at this. Penetrator round level four. Let's go with that. And uh, you know what? We'll round it out there. Be even beefier of a boy. And we're ready for the final boss. I don't think he's going to stand a chance. We'll see if I eat crow. You know, I'll say this. Um, I hate the taste of crow. Um, I've eaten it in the past. You know, it happens. All right, apply healing effect twice when guarding. Uh, reduces cooldown by 30%. That could be great. We'll do that. Use it a little bit more often. Okay. Uh, I think we're ready to rock here. All right, Hades gear. Outstanding. Speaking of Hades, you think we're gonna get a sequel to Hades? A sequel or DLC? I mean, that's that's a favorite of mine. Wow, look at that DPS climbing. Look at that. Boy, you love to see that. Okay. How about one of those? How about one of those for you? All right. Oh yeah. Okay, now we're gonna have to be real careful with the guard here. Don't really want to die. Outstanding. So far, so good. All right. Wow, 89,000. Did you see it? I saw it. It was on a counterattack. Thirty thousand. Oh, that DPS. Okay, we're gonna get in there momentarily. We're gonna take these guys out first. Okay. Let's get our guard up. Put that in there. Yeah, buddy. Uh-oh. All right, let's uh, let's get our guard on. Okay. Counterattack. So, as I was saying before, when I was murdered while saying it, tough day at work, you feel like getting in there and beating some ass, you go mountain. Mountain or guillotine. Both are going to make you feel good. Okay. 
I think I got froze. Oh, because I overheated. Well, that makes sense. Outstanding. All right. Pop the old mountain beginner achievement. You probably can't see that, but uh, I did. I feel good about it. Okay. And now we'll be able to uh, bring in two relics with uh, Mr. Mountain here. Oh, we got our season point, too. Boy, this has been a fabulous run overall. Let's see what kind of replication we end up with. Usually you get one on a victory. Ooh, penetrator round. Okay. Go with the level one penetrator round. That's, that's, not, uh, that's not the worst thing ever. Now, here's what's, uh, here's what's really exciting about this. I now have five additional vault system. points. And we can pop them in here. So now we will be generating shield equivalent to 10% of max HP for 15 seconds every 30 seconds. I'm so excited about that. Um, hey. Thank you so much for all of the support. Let us know in the comments uh, what kind of builds you've been having success with so far. Everybody learns from it. Share your wisdom. We can all play this game better together by uh, sharing in that. Um, and let us let us know about those broken combinations where you're getting between 100 and 300,000 DPS. Share those stories with us. We love them. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and we will see you next time for more Anvil Vault Breakers on the GoForce Gaming channel. I will continue playing this game, and I will continue scouring the deep corners of the web for those hot, hot coupon codes. I haven't seen any lately, but uh, next time they pop, you better believe I'll, uh, I'll be including them in the video. All right, take care. We'll see you next time.